Hi, welcome back to Science Dogs and All Kinds of Crap. Today, we are going to see the future of computing. Behind this just looks like a ordinary TV. Nothing special, nothing much. But really, it's hooked up to a tiny, tiny computer called a Raspberry Pi. I do have this like nice big custom case, but it's really only the size of a credit card. And why do you think this com tiny computer can be the future of computing? It has a... Yes, yes, I know, I know. I know what you're saying. The, the processor's probably weak. But honestly, there's... There is, like, almost no limit on what you can do with this Raspberry Pi. There... You can easily switch accounts... If because you can take out all of its memory, all of it, have it right in my hand, all of its memory. You can, and, and you can increase the memory by getting a bigger SD card. And but what if you install a virus? You may ask. Well, then you can instead of throwing out the whole computer, you can just throw out the SD card and get a new one. And the reason this is the future is because, imagine you're in the library, you want to access your account, but you don't have your computer with you, but you do have this SD card. Well, while there could be hundreds and hundreds of ra cheap Raspberry Pis that only cost $40 each on the uh, computer desks, then you can just plug in your SD card and it'll pop up on the screen. And yeah. Raspberry Pis are probably the best computer in all of our own. That's saying something. Because, well, I own a MacBook. Air. And let's just say it's the latest model. But still, I think this boy's better. No offense, Apple. Just you can't beat the pie. Another reason this is the feature of computer is because you can literally fit it in your pocket and it only takes 5 volts, not like 25 volts or 30 volts. You can even bring it on an airplane with you. They'll think it's just fine. And it has, instead of this this one U, two USB ports on a MacBook, it has four. And unlike a Mac. Also, unlike a MacBook, a uh, Ethernet port. No, not the one that vampires used to communicate. Ethernet as an in internet without the air. Yeah, it's real. <laughs> yep. That's why I think we should all use Raspberry Pis. Uh, bye!